electrically. I mean, I just told you what mm -hmm. makes up the human neuron. What makes the electronic neuron a neuron? It started with something in the 60s called a perceptron. And it was basically, it's a simplified model of a neuron where there's inputs and then there's a nonlinearity and there's an output. So what that means is if you have, let's say a thousand inputs into your artificial neuron, each input gets multiplied by something called a weight. If it's a positive weight, it's like uh, you know having a glutamate or an excitatory neurotransmitter. If it's a negative weight, it's kind of like having you know a GABA or yeah. what's it called? Be up and, 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 and then you add a bias to it. The bias, there's you know a similar thing with I think artificial neurons. You basically multiply by a number, add a number, multiply by a number, add a number, multiply by a number, add a number for every input, and then you add all of those together. So, you know, the weights make it inhibitory or uh, excitatory. The biases kind of set the zero point and then they all get summed together. But um, just like the activation potential, there's a nonlinear response from the input to the output. So if it's excitatory or inhibitory, is it based on what number is produced? Yeah, 